Okay, name one time that you guys pushed through your comfort zone. Um, I feel like, I feel like I mean, not to be like cliche, we get out of comfort zone pretty often. I mean, like even like throughout the day. Um, I know that one major thing that I did recently um, that kind of like I kind of had like this kind of big idea to to start training uh, with this other guy, doing, like, uh, starting a new sport, uh, living weightlifting, and like I didn't. I didn't really know like how to start or anything like that. It's, it's kind of like the same kind of thing. People come to like a new gym, super nervous, everything like that. And I just kind of like told myself, I was like, stop putting it off. Stop telling yourself that oh, I'll do it next week. Uh, you know, or I'll, I'll start you know, later on. Um, and then I don't know what happened. I just I just texted the, the owner and uh, said, hey man, think about coming and, uh, and training with you. And uh, I don't know. It just it was easy. Absolutely, and the number one thing, my number one takeaway today, so they taught me how to do a backflip today, and you know, I would say I got it maybe 90% of the way, but the one thing that helped me, the one thing that actually let me get my most successful rep was when he said, be a person that jumps, because you know, it's so easy, we talk about this a lot too, basically get paralyzed, um, analysis paralysis, like we do research, we wanna think things out, and in this day and age, everything is so readily available to us, it becomes confusing, but if you just become a person that jumps, you'll find it. You know, even if you're upside down at the time, you'll find a way to kind of do that that second half of the rotation. So that was that was huge. Yeah. What about you? Um, I would say the biggest thing coming out of my comfort zone is like just being in a leadership role right now, and just like there's a lot of pressure that comes with that. You know, like you just feel like you always like there's always some kind of analysis going on. Just completely paralyzed because all you're thinking about is is interpretation of what you're doing. What can go wrong? Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. What's going wrong with what you're doing? And so. Um, it's like really uncomfortable at times, but that I'm getting comfortable being uncomfortable with that. And it's like, I'm, I'm feeling like when I have that weight on my shoulders, when I, when I know it's pressure's on, it that it's making me more too. efficient. Like it's, dry, yeah. it's a driving force oh, yeah. instead of a front. Like Only way to grow. Absolutely. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 But once you get comfortable with that a little bit, you know, it's just you you scale continuously, it yeah, you Absolutely. continuously grow it. Yeah. Yep. That pressure becomes your new comfort zone. And then you're able to push a little bit further. Right, further. right, right. Yeah. And then when you look back at where you were and the comfort zone that you had, everything just looks so much easier. You know, and it's like just just little things in your life that you're just like you get out of your comfort zone because you don't do this, or or for example, like if you know you have to get something done and it's really weighing on you hard, and there's like external factors that are just you know something's getting in your way. You just put your head down and get make yourself uncomfortable and do that extra that extra thing that takes a little bit of sleep away, yeah. and you you know you intensify your life. Exactly, and I think the main thing is that when you push yourself, whether it's in the gym, this is why it's so much bigger than personal training, because when you push yourself in one realm of life, one aspect of life, it transcends into others. You know, so when you when you kind of say whatever you're passionate about, like we're obviously, we're collectively passionate about fitness. We push ourselves in the gym, in other aspects of life, like say that we wanted to go back to school and, and learn something else, like otherwise we might be scared, you know, it might be. So sorry guys, um, the video, actually cut off so we missed the last part but what i was going to ask connor is how is he going to challenge himself in the future to get out of his comfort zone to to just take on more more things i guess um everyone thinks that you know i have such this huge plate of of, of things to do in, in my day in your day mm -hmm. and i think that we all have this idea that that's all that's it yeah. you know what i'm saying so when when you really think about it, like maybe I could cut back on the things that, like sitting on the couch and watching TV for like that extra hour. If I cut back 30 minutes off that, I have 30 minutes in my day. Exactly. So I think what I want to do I just, in my in my path is just take on more small goals um, and then win those goals. Absolutely. And don't let them be, be, uh, be me. So um, yeah, that's, that's perfect. It, whether it's you know uh, signing up for a new competition, whether it's uh, just telling myself you know to have better nutrition or. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like that. Dream big and start small. Like as soon as you sit down, say instead of watching TV and filling your head with the Kardashians or whatever you guys watch, like if you kind of just sit down and you just envision what you want, right? Just envision like the big picture and it's going to feel uncomfortable and it's going to be really blurry initially. Like you're not going to understand exactly what you want. No one ever does the first time, but do that consecutively each day. About the third time, maybe it, it's going to start becoming more clear, more and more concrete do that again for another two weeks and you'll be surprised. As soon as that picture is clear, I mean, you know, you have so much direction and clarity and you know exactly what you want to achieve. What about you? Staying out of my comfort zone 
with like subconscious things. Like you know when dishes need to be done and you're like, oh, but I'm tired, I don't want to get in there. Unacceptable. Like that's like anything that you, there's ever an ounce of doubt where you're just like, we're, you know, tiredness or laziness or some kind of some some fact of your life is d deciding whether you do it or not. You just have to do it. You just have to do it. Like whether it's training, like okay, I'm tired. I didn't get enough sleep last night because I work late. Do it. Yeah. You know, like my laundry didn't get done because I don't have you know laundry detergent. Well, you need to go and you go need to get it, it done. Yeah. There's no reason for you not to. Like it, there's there should be no outside outside factor. And it's even down to like little things like when my alarm goes off. Like I'm gonna download an app that doesn't have the snooze button so that when it goes off, it's time to rock. You know, exactly. and there's no reason for any subconscious, ask, like there's nothing that should be distracting me from what I need to do anymore. That's, and that's like my month challenge right now is what I'm trying to do. That's huge because we're so quick to, if you look at it, like let's let's reframe this in something It's just so well. easy, it's so easy yeah, to, exactly. to, to fall into that. And you do it one time and then three times it'll happen in one day just because you did it once yeah you snooze your your alarm clock one time and then the next thing you know like your diet will slip off and it's it goes too easy ways. Yeah. it's too easy to it's go momentum. to go get something yeah and the main thing if you think of it like maybe weight loss dieting and stuff like that like we're so quick to go to that get quick scheme that thing that excites us like well we can lose 30 pounds in, in two weeks right but in the grand scheme of things what's actually effective whether it's success whether it's you know relationships with other people uh whether it's efficiency and weight loss of course small gradual changes over a period of time add up and they, they, they block. It's like investing. If you invest $20 each month, um, was that $240 by the end of the year that you invested that wouldn't have gone in there, right? So uh, stuff like that, I think it's just, right. it, it's so overlooked, the small decisions that you can do each day. Adapting that mindset, that yeah. mindset of turning off your subconscious, pushing it away. Create momentum. Hey, let's take it. So let's take getting out of your comfort zone and taking things away from that. Right. So. You said you know you got ninety percent of that backflip, yeah. like that's huge. Like people don't people don't see that. Like some people have a mindset where they just they see ninety percent, they don't see one hundred, so they don't consider it results. They don't yes. they don't they don't have a takeaway from that. They, and that sure. that takes away from their desire to progress. That's huge. Yeah. You know, and so, but you have to you have to have your goal set up to where you you see small changes, and those small changes are good enough to where the next step. There's always the next step. Because exactly. for you, like, if it was just a backflip, and you're like, I just have to get the backflip. That's all that matters. Then you get it. Now what? Yeah. There, you have nothing. You have no step process. You know, if yeah. it was landing it from the high block, then landing it flat. Gradual. Yeah. You know, there's always so a, it, step. exactly. It's like it's you shouldn't have. I, I always say, or I don't say this. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I love Star uh, mm -hmm. Star Wars, right? Like. It's, it, you should never have an all or nothing approach, right? Because 50% of your 100% goal, that's why it's important to dream big, but also start small. Because if I said today, I just wanna focus on tucking and falling backwards, right? And I accomplish 50% of my backflip goal. I'm halfway there. If tomorrow I come back, I can do the other half. You know, it might take me a little longer. Um, gradual goals will get you to, the, to that full picture and you can mandate progress that way. And it still gives you that little bit of excitement, that little push to get to the next level. Um, whereas if you just view all or nothing, it's like, okay, anything less than my full goal, and if it is a goal, it should be huge, it should be something exciting, should take you a little while <clears throat> to accomplish that, um, would be perceived as a failure, where it should not be. Okay. Um, I just uh, was, was gonna ask you, like, have, did you do a backflip before coming in here? No, no, um, I, I've done it into the water. I've done yeah. a backflip into the water. Okay, but, yeah. okay, so you had, so pretty much like no. The most terrifying. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I, I wasn't over there at the beginning. So I never I never got to solo like your, your progression. But like not seeing or knowing that you've never done a backflip on the ground and then seeing it happen like by the end, like that is success. Like, yeah, exactly. Right there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, like those things are, are, men are so mentally challenging. Like, like not knowing where you're jumping to. When, yeah. we were, when we were at the very end, we were talking about fear and like how it like it feels like a big cloak just like sitting on top of you Absolutely. and if you can just like get off of it for a second like put it away put that cloak away for a second and then do what you need to do and, like of course fear is always going to come back yeah. if you can take off for a second and then do what you need to do um i feel like progression is just it's limitless there right. Absolutely. Yeah. but it's just Fair's having that mindset it's okay. having that mindset of moving up to saying okay the cloak's coming off and it's time yeah. to 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 get out of my comfort zone to make this happen yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. Yeah, using maybe. using fear as a compass is such a good way to find ways to get better. I mean, you don't have to say, I'm scared of the dark, so I'm going to wander around the neighborhood, but I'm scared of public speaking, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I'm going to go right. fly out to New York. I'm going to go do a speech up there. I'm going to find that because at the same token, like, 
the more people that you meet, I, I guarantee you money, you know, it doesn't buy happiness. I would say it's a prerequisite but good relationships with people you may have never met before. You never, everybody has a story, right? And when you connect with different people from different backgrounds and you find common ground, that is what happiness is about. I mean, that's true fulfillment. Um, I also want to talk, these guys are great coaches. Holy shit. I mean, I was, I was so terrified and throughout the, like. Well, think about the connection that you got that just from that, just from being outside of your comfort zone. Like absolutely. You, 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 you know, two people you never met before, you felt like you trusted with your life because that's, yeah. like, that's how you feel. You know, yeah. you're in such a high stakes scenario. In your yeah, head. fair bonding. <laughs> yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, so Ryan and Connor, Ryan's not here. Um, these guys are so good at what they do. These guys work at Burn Fit Athletics in Suffolk, Virginia, and they're two of some of the best coaches I've ever encountered. I mean, they're so encouraging, they're so knowledgeable. When it comes to personal training, um, there's two aspects. There's a training aspect, you have to know about anatomy, you have to know about exercise physiology, but the most underlooked part is being personable and being you know, very, very sound in motivational techniques and inspirational techniques, and knowing how to basically take someone from point A to point B, and these guys are so great. So. Uh, tell them a little bit about what you guys do, what you specialize, um, what your passions are, and how you got, got into this too. Like, everybody has a story about how they got into personal training, and it's always a variation of I wanted to help people, and it's always really interesting. So, go ahead and tell me. Good. Well, I started uh, way back. My, my dad was actually my, my head football coach. So, that was, awesome. you know, a super fundamental thing, just like wanting to help and like, you know, being there. Um, got into fitness uh, after high school. Just got you know sir after sir and decided to go back to school um, and currently at ODU right now so getting that done um, and yeah just what do you study uh, exercise science awesome. yeah so right up the right up the alley um, but yeah I just wanted to like you said help people man it just feel, it feels good you know it's right. not it's not even like you know just like you know and it's not all about me but. Like it, it gives you this feeling of like when someone accomplishes like when you did that backflip, like I think yeah like it start like, back with how you got into it you wanted to help people right here. yeah so um, I wanted to help help people um, and like like it feels good from, from you know out outside perspective when someone achieves something you know what I'm saying right. so um, it's not just that feeling one thing it's 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 the relationship um, so that that felt good and I was like man I I like to do this like why not make this so I went back to school and, and uh, currently trying to get my CSCS, which is what, what uh, Jake has. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can both run this gym. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, yeah. that's the big picture. Yeah. Um, talk about CrossFit competitions as well. Yeah. yeah. That's not yep. what so it's awesome. I started off uh, doing CrossFit uh, competitions in 2014. That's also when I got my CrossFit level one and started coaching CrossFit. Um, I've been doing it kind of like just as a weekend warrior kind of thing. But once I took this job in July, I started training full time. Um, I qualified for a bigger event in Miami in January that I'm gonna go to. Um, so that's pretty exciting. That's really big out of that's my comfort zone. That's super, 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 super. You're traveling. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is intense. It's yeah. very intense. That is but awesome. I mean, like, that's something I like to do. And like, what I like to do is one thing, but what do my members like to do? Like the, extra, the group exercise portion and then like, team training that's very different you know what I'm saying so like my why for me is an internal thing like I like to compete like that like that's my it's like it's your outlet yeah, yeah it's my outlet for my stuff you know what yeah. I'm saying but I like, like that's, that's, that's why like I have two different things like that's my that's getting out of my comfort zone as a person and my personal development for me but then my personal development as a professional is working with the teams you know and trying to be a leader in that aspect with the group fitness and things that we're doing there Absolutely. and trying to develop not only just like basic you know, obviously like anatomy things and making people like reduce risk of injury and things like that, but also trying to cultivate leadership and kind of like, like a lot of stuff that we, we work with with the baseball team. The baseball team has a lot of good leaders. Yeah, that was the first sure. thing that I noticed when I, when I came sure. here was that like, there were things put in place that like, and you would never think about it unless yeah. that was something that you were like read, had read about or you had studied, but like little subtle things that were going on as, from the coaches that yeah. were making kids step up and want to be leaders. You, you know, know what's saying? interesting about um, coaching teams, so I, I was reading some book where they're talking about basically like whatever role you take on a team like that, a sports team, mm -hmm. it kind of reflects what you do in the real world. Like your, your social identity transcends whether it's, you know, say they were in music class as well, like they might step up there because they feel comfortable being a leader in baseball, you know, so it transcends everywhere, even into the classroom. So yeah. like in other aspects of life, say it was a um, 
say you're, you're coaching adults in a team aspect, like everything transcends into other aspects of life and it can make them better. Overall, it can improve quality of life outside the gym. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's good. I have no idea what to call this, so it's just a random vlog. What should we call it? Uh, Stepping out of my comfort zone. Jumping out of my comfort zone? Yeah. yeah. But, like a series, what would it be? Like, personal trainers? The Chronicles of Personal Training? No. Tell me. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Circles. Um, huh. Ethan and the, the Burn Fit Boys? Yeah. <laughs> Ethan and the Burly Boys. <laughs> we bring them back, baby. I guess we don't need a name. I'll just, I can write you think something. something. Yeah, we'll think, think something. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. I like the Burnford Boys, dude. Yeah, Ethan that's funny. Boys. Ethan, Ethan the Burnford Boys. Burn. Yeah. And we'll do this weekly. I can yeah. come yeah, back. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Do it. it will work out. Okay, so, let's, damn, your hands are so hard. I know. So, <laughs> so, so, I like, hit it, I was like, damn. <laughs> um, we'll call this Ethan and the Burnford Boys. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And don't forget to step out of your comfort zone. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.